What's up YouTube? My name is Clickwood and I am back again today bringing you guys a new video and today what we're going to be doing is learning how to build an epic offensive line in Madden 25 Ultimate Team for under 20,000 coins. Did that pique your interest? If not, keep listening because I'm going to tell you that this offensive line that we're going to create today is actually statistically very comparable to one that you might spend over 300,000 coins on. And we're gonna do direct comparisons between our budget cards and some of the most expensive offensive linemen in this game. Now, I'm not gonna to try to make the claim that what we're gonna to build today is gonna to be, be the best offensive line in Madden or anything like that. But what this offensive line is gonna do for you is be effective and it's gonna be cheap. That's gonna leave you the opportunity to build up your team in some of the skill position areas where you might need to make a big difference against your opponent. So let's start off first here with the left tackle comparison. And the cards that I'm going to be talking about today are the left tackle Jason Peters Road to the Playoffs card and the left tackle Joe Thomas Road to the Playoffs Elite card. Now, I did a quick comparison here between the pass block stats and the run block stats as well as the impact block stats. And you're also going to see in the bottom the amount of coins that these cards go for. So in this case, you're going to see that the Jason Peters card is actually a significantly better run blocker than the Joe Thomas card. Now, while the Joe Thomas card is a better pass blocker, it's still not that much better than the Jason Peters card. Now, where the big difference comes in between these two cards is the impact block ratio, which is a 14 point lead for Joe Thomas over Jason Peters. And that is significant. However, what's more significant is the fact that this Jason Peters card is less than 1 20th of the cost of the Joe Thomas card. Those of you who are not ashamed to run duplicates might actually want to take a serious look at this Jason Peters card because look at those stats. 93, 94, 96, and 99 for the pass block and run block stats. I mean, that is crazy. There are not very many cards in this game that have better stats than that, and there aren't any that are anywhere near 2,500 coins. So take a look at this card, and if you can find a good way to implement it that makes you still feel good about yourself, try to do that. Because I actually use this card as my left guard, and it is an absolute beast. I highly recommend it. Even though it's only 82 overall, and the Joe Thomas is 96 overall, I mean, for the amount of money difference that you see there, uh, it's it's not even close, guys. This Jason Peters card is a significantly better value, and you're going to be able to spend 50 extra thousand coins on another position on your team. So think about that when you're building your offensive line, and let's move on to the left guard position. Okay, left guard. Mikey Potty, playoffs, versus Evan Mathis, road to the playoffs. Now, there are significant differences here between these two when it comes to the uh, pass block footwork. That was one that I definitely noticed, and that's definitely something to think about. However, you do also have to consider the fact that guards aren't necessarily going up against the opposing team's best pass rusher, and finesse moves against poor pass block footwork can definitely do damage. But in this case, most of the time, you're going to be going up against somebody whose best move is a power move on the defensive line. So really what you need is decent enough pass block strength. And that's what Mikey Potty has. He does have 86 pass block strength. But where he shines is the run block strength. 99, guys. 99 run block strength with 91 run block footwork. And now granted, when you take a look at the Evan Mathis card, the Evan Mathis card's got the 98 run block footwork and the 91 run block strength. Still a very good card. But the difference again here is a massive difference in the amount of coins that these cards cost. The Mikey Potty card you can get for around 6,000 coins and the Evan Mathis card costs 80,000 coins. It, again, not even a comparison. These cards are extraordinarily cheap in comparison to the cards that you could realistically compare them to. So I think that the Mikey Potty one is definitely one that I would recommend. It is a card, again, that I use on my team. So with that said, let's move on to center. At center, we're going to be taking a look at the rookie legend Mike Webster, and we're going to compare it to the Madden 25 
Nick Mangold Elite card. Now, the Mike Webster is only 80 overall versus the Mangold being 95 overall. And you can see here that the Mike Webster card is roughly about 1 15th of the cost of the Nick Mangold card. Now, this is probably the one uh, along this entire offensive line where you're going to see the biggest difference between these players because the Mike Webster card is not better than the Nick Mangold card at any statistic. However, what it is is pretty darn comparable in most of these stats. Uh, if you look at the run block footwork, for, for example, it's only one less than the Mangold card. Um, both of the pass block stats, the pass block strength and the pass block footwork, are exactly the same as the Mangold card. Where there's a big difference is the run block strength and the impact block, and that's seven difference for both of them. However, I will still say that the Mike Webster card's stats are good enough to have him be your starting center. And for only 2,000 coins, it's hard to beat that. Not to mention, it's just kind of cool to have a rookie legend somewhere on your offensive line if you can find a way to implement them. Moving on to right guard now, and we've got Chance Warmack Road to the Playoffs, a gold card, against the Football Outsiders midseason award-winning Kyle Long. Now, these two are also very comparable in most stats, um, but what's interesting is that the Chance Warmack card actually has better run block statistics. It's only two better in, each, in, in strength and footwork, but I think the two is significant because you're talking about a position that is primarily a run blocking position, like we talked about on the left side. And the fact that it has a 14 lower statistic than the Kyle Long card in terms of pass block footwork isn't really that significant. Because again, the finesse moves are really where you see that impacted, and there aren't a lot of defensive tackles that have great finesse moves. So Chance Warmack is an interesting card at 1,000 coins against the Kyle Long card that is 100,000 coins. And again, guys, I'm not saying that necessarily the Chance Warmack card is going to be better, but when you consider the fact that it's 1% of the cost of the Kyle Long card, it is well worth it. Now, last but not least is going to be the right tackle position, and we're going to compare the gold Road to the Playoffs Tyson Claybo card to the Road to the Playoffs 96 overall elite Sebastian Vollmer. And the major differences between these two cards come in the fact that the Tyson Claybo card is actually a better pass blocker. And to me, that's significant because when you're talking about a right tackle in Madden, he's typically going up against the opposing team's best pass rusher. And it's not necessarily like that in the real NFL, but when you're playing on defense, a lot of times you consider the fact that the opposing team's quarterback is going to scramble out to the side that they're strongest throwing from. So for most quarterbacks, obviously, they're right-handed, so they tend to fade out to the right and throw down the field. And having a significantly better right tackle in terms of pass block strength and pass block footwork, like this Tyson Claybo card is, is important. And the other thing is that it actually has better impact blocking. And I think that that is something that we should definitely consider because when he pulls and goes down the field and is needing to knock guys over down the field, he's able to do it better than this Sebastian Vollmer card. So for a card that is 6,000 coins versus the Vollmer being 45,000 coins, I don't even think it's a comparison. In fact, I would actually venture to say that in terms of looking at these very important statistics, the Vollmer card is actually worse than the Claybo card. So for it to be seven times as expensive is crazy. And that's something that you guys can take advantage of. I hope that you learned something from today's video. I know this is kind of a random thing, but somebody asked me to put together a good budget squad. So I thought what I would do is start off with the offensive line. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. And also, please leave a comment. I'm interested to hear if you guys have any suggestions for me in terms of cards that I might have missed out on, or if I made a mistake or anything like that. Please let me know. Thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.